Hey guys, um, I'm going to go over the homework again. I really want to urge you to try to do as much as you can on your own and, um, and then check um, every step of the way. I know it's easy to make errors um, and so you don't want to make errors too soon and then get so far ahead that you know you have to go back all the way but um, see how far you can get and check and then go on, okay? So this is a worksheet where I'm going to flip or go down to the bottom. The, the homework was number six, nine, and 11. So let's start with number six. Okay, so some students are like, well, how do you know like what, you, what number you need to multiply? So the first thing you need to do is decide, am I going to eliminate the x's or am I going to eliminate the y's? So you look for like combinations like which one would be probably the fastest way, you know? So for example, if I want to elim eliminate the x's, the negative 8 and 6 will not eliminate. And if I multiply one of them, it's never going to become an 8 or a 6. So I'd have to multiply top and bottom by, uh, you know, maybe multiply the top by 6 and the bottom by 8 so that becomes um, negative 48 and positive 48 and they would eliminate. But that's a lot of work. If I go over here, which is fine, but I see something that might take less work. If I go to the y's here, I see that we've got a 6 and a 6. So um, these look like they're ready to eliminate. However, I can't eliminate because they're both negative. And if you add these together, they become a negative 12 instead of a 0. So one of these needs to become a positive. So I like what one of my students said. They're like, well, can I just change one of the signs? Um, Absolutely, you can do that as long as you change the signs of all the other terms in the equation, which essentially, guys, is the same as multiplying by a negative 1. So let's say you want to just change the sign. Okay, you want to change the sign of the top one? Fine. Um, let's say I want to change this to a positive. Then you've got to go over here to the negative and change that. And then you've got to go over here to the positive and change that to a negative. Okay, because you change one, you've got to change the entire equation. Now that I see that I have a positive 6y and a negative 6y, they, these will eliminate. That means I don't have to change the bottom. The, changing one equation was enough. But if I was going to eliminate the x's, I would have had to change both. And that's more work and more time. So if I can save time, I'll look for that opportunity. So basically, these can eliminate because this will become 0. So I'm going to add these, and I'm going to add these. All right. So this becomes 8x plus 6x is 14x equals negative 2 plus a negative 12 becomes a negative 14. Then you divide each side by 14, and then x becomes negative 1. So that's going to be your answer, or not just your x value. So where does that negative 1 go? Since it's x, it goes here. And then I'm going to substitute x the, the um, negative 1 into one of the other equations. It's up to you which one. So you're like, well, which one should I go into? Like, I'll go to, you can do the top one before you changed it, or, or even after you changed it, you can use it. Or you can use this bottom one. I'm going to try using the bottom one. If you use the top one, you should still get the same answer, like you will, if you did the math right. So 6, I'm going to use this one right here. So 6 is written, and then I know what x is, so I'm going to re replace the x or substitute in a negative 1 for the x, and then I'm going to write minus 6y equals negative 12. All right, so then this multiplies. Okay, we should go ahead and take care of that. So it's a negative 6, and I'm just going to bring down everything else, just rewrite everything else. Okay, nothing's going on there, so I'm just rewriting. I circle my constants, and I'm going to box my ver a variable term. Now I'm going to move this negative 6 so it can join that, but you have to add it. So I'm going to add it here as well. So it becomes negative 6y equals negative 12 plus 6 is a negative 6. Then you divide each side by negative 6 and you get y equals positive 1. So then we're going to take that 1 and put it here, and your answer is negative 1 comma 1. All right, number 9. Number 9. Again, there's many ways to do this, but let's take a look. Let's say you want to do eliminate the x's, then you would have to multiply the top by 7 and the bottom by 2. That way they become a 14x and a negative 14x, and they'll eliminate. Or you can look at here, you have a negative 1. So let's say you want to eliminate these, then you only have to multiply the top by 3, and then that negative 3y will, um, will eliminate with a positive 3y. So I'm going to do this one right here. Just multiply by the, a 3 here. So let's say I multiply by 3. 
So if I multiply this by 3, that becomes a negative 3y, which will eliminate with that, which is what I want. But don't forget to multiply it by Nicole all the others. Villamil. Nicole Villamil, your dad is here. You can come up to the front. Also, okay, Noel sorry about Soleil. that. Ms. Soleil, your pizza delivery is here. So we need Ms. Soleil to the front to get her pizza and Nicole to the front to come on home. Thank you. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to distribute the 3 to the 2, which is 6x, 3 to the negative 1, which is a negative 3y, equals, and then don't forget that last term, you see three rainbows, you, see, you should see three changes. So 6x, negative 3y, and 18. Now, I, since I decided to multiply by the negative 3, it's going to eliminate with that 3y, so I'm not going to multiply the bottom by anything. I'm just going to rewrite it. So negative 7x plus 3y equals negative 23. And this is what I wanted. I wanted that to eliminate, and that was possible by only multiplying the top by the 3, because this was um, going to eliminate. Now, if I had to eliminate the x's, then I would have had to multiply both of them by something so that they will eliminate. So let's see what happens here. We have this, and we have this. Did I do that for number 6? Yeah. OK. So 6x plus a negative 7x is a negative 1x. OK. Even me, I'm like, okay, I'm, this is the end of the day. Am I doing the math right? Okay, hopefully, yes. Okay, 18 minus 23 should end up being a positive negative 5. Okay, and then I'm going to divide by negative 1. Divide also by negative 1, so x equals positive 5. All right, so that's my answer here for, that's half my answer, so I'm going to put 5. And the reason I put the 5 here is because we found x. Okay, so now we're going to substitute in y, so it, it's up to you. Well, I'll try this one. So, or I need to substitute in for x and find y. So I have a negative 7 times 5, because this is times, okay? Times 5 plus 3y equals negative 23. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, again, please use your calculators. You don't want to mess up negatives here. So negative 7 times 5 is negative 35 plus 3y equals negative 23. All right, so if you circle and box and circle, am I doing this right? It's the end of the day. Let me double check. Okay. Yeah. Then I have to add 35 and then add 35. Why does this look funky to me? Something looks funky. Let me double check this, guy. So... Negative 35 plus 35. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. Okay, good. So then this eliminates, and then I bring this down, so I get 3y equals. Uh, I think I was trying to do this in my head, and I was confusing myself. Okay, so that's, um, that's going to be 12. Okay, double check that. Negative 23 plus 35 should equal 12. Okay, then you divide each side by 3, and y is 4. So you take that and you put it right there. And that is my solution. Now, if you decided to do the elimination with the 2 and the negative 7, that would be fine. But um, it would take more work, but you'll still get 5 comma 4. All right, number 11. So just for the fun of it, I'm going to eliminate the x's first this time. Because I think number 6, yeah, the y is eliminated both times. So. I'm going to say you could do number, uh, eliminate the y, so let me just talk through that real quick. If you decide to eliminate the x's, you're going to need to multiply the top by 8 and the bottom by 5. Now you might be like, how about the negative? Well, since this is negative and positive already, I'm just going to multiply by a positive 8 here and a positive 5 here. That'll keep the negative and positive here. I know that sounds like a lot, but with practice you guys will get better at that. Over here, let's say, no, I don't want to eliminate the x's, I'm going to eliminate the y's. Well, then you'll have to multiply the top by 4 and the bottom by 3, so you get a positive 12y and a negative 12y. That will eliminate. So both of these, you're going to have to multiply. This one's going to require multiplying top and bottom. In this case, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5, or 5 on the bottom, so that if you look at this, 5 times 8x will be a uh, 40x. Over here, I'm going to multiply by 8, and let me double check that. Well, 8 times negative 5x is a negative 40x. So you'll have a negative 40 on top, a positive 40. These will eventually eliminate. So I like that, so I'm going to make sure I distribute it. You got, if you change one term, you've got to change all the others. Okay, so 
8 times negative 5x is negative 40x. 8 times positive 3y is positive 24y equals 8 times 10 is 80. 5 times 8x is positive 40x. 5 times negative 4y is negative 20y. And then 5 times negative 40 or negative 8 is negative 40. Now that was a lot, so I'm going to double check my work here. Okay. Yeah, okay. So why did I multiply by these? Because I wanted these to eliminate, and they do. That was the nice thing about it. Now I'm going to add these. So 24 minus 20, or 24 plus a negative 20, is 4y equals, and that is a 40, because 80 minus 40 is 40. Divide by 4, divide by 4, so y equals 10. Okay, so I found y, which actually goes here this time, remember, because that's y. It helps you write your xy. So let's say I'm going to, I don't know, since I used the second equation last time, I'll use the first equation. Like I said, it doesn't matter. You should still get the same answer. So let's say we do negative 5x, okay? Um, I don't substitute the 10 here because that's, the 10 equals y. So I'm going to go where the y is. So here, where the y is supposed to be, replace it or substitute it in the 10, and then equals 10. Well, it's interesting that there's a 10 and 10 here, but that's just coincidence. Okay. So let's see, multiply that. Since that's the only thing we're changing about this entire equation, we'll just rewrite it, negative 5x plus 30, and then equals 10. Box, circle, circle. This needs to go over there, so I'm going to subtract three, uh, 30, subtract 30. And so I get negative 5x equals 10 minus 30 is negative 20. Divide, divide x equals positive 4. So that goes here, and that is my solution, 4 comma 10.